this session we are going to continue with our velocity series and we are going to discuss uh, the introduction to omni studios lwc so we are going to discuss how we can use the lighting web components for omni studio or the velocity package so let's start so starting with the basics so uh, before starting on the lwc for omni studio we need to understand what is an omni script uh, omni script is a omni channel customer engagement and a business tool built on the salesforce platform Omni script allows you to create dynamic customer interactions without code and deploy to multiple channels and devices. So it's a basically a UI framework where you can uh, drag and drop your uh, components, uh, UI components without writing any code. So administrators can define a script once and then deploy the script within a Salesforce application or a web page. So it, uh, we can do a comparison of this with a screen flow where you have different elements and you can drag and drop that on a screen. Uh, we can do a comparison of a screen flow with a Omni script. As I told you, we have multiple components available to drag and drop on the Omni script. One of the component is a custom LWC and custom LWC will show us the options of all the LWCs which we created and we can use them in our Omni script. So, Let's discuss what are the different types of LWCs that are available on the OmniScript. So for the first one is the OmniScript element lighting web component. So basically this means like we are overriding the OmniScript's element. So instead of crea creating from the scratch, let's say you, uh, you want to override a OmniScript element. For example, we have a set values element on the OmniScript. So if you want to override the set values element, you can go with the first component type. Like instead of doing everything from scratch, we have to, uh, you have to just do some customizations so you can override the element. The second one is the Omni script base mixing. So Omni script base mixing, mixing is basically using a proper custom LWC from the scratch with your logic in it. And you want to interact with the Omni script base mixing. So you are able to use the methods provided by uh, velocity package to, uh, to manipulate their JSON. Uh, to manipulate their OmniScript JSON. The, th uh, the third one is the standalone component, a custom standalone component. Uh, the component cannot extend the OmniScript base mixing component or an OmniScript element lightning web component. So in this uh, video, we are going to focus on the OmniScript base mixing component and we are going to uh, do a demo on it. Uh, in later videos, I'll show you how we can override a uh, standard Omni Studio Omni Scripts element by extending it by extending it using the Lightning Web component. So let's start. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. So uh, let's deep dive into the Omni Script base mixing LWC. So let's understand what are basically the requirements for it. So uh, in your uh, uh, meta file of the custom LWC, you need to add two attributes. Uh, first is the runtime namespace where you are going to provide Omni Studio if you are using an Omni Studio package or uh, any other uh, namespace. Let's say if you are using the velocity communication, you are going to give velocity underscore CMT and you have to make the is exposed equals to true. Then uh, once we have extended the Omni script base mixing uh, module, we can interact with the Omni scripts JSON using the below methods. So we can use the Omni JSON data uh, STR. So this will uh, this will show us the Omni JSON uh, in a string format. We can update the Omni Studio Omni scripts uh, JSON using the Omni update JSON uh, data JSON, and we are going to we, uh, we can provide some object or any value here, and that will update the Omni script JSON. Uh, let's say you want to go to the next step. This is a very common scenario. Uh, so you are, uh, you can use this method, this dot omni next step. This will uh, move you to the next step of the omni script. And if you want to go to the previous step, this is this, uh, the way to do that. Then there are many other things like if you want to call a integration procedure from your custom LWC, you want to call a remote method uh, uh, from your LWC. So there is functions for that. So we are going to keep it simple. So we are just going to see how we can uh, use, uh, how we can manipulate the Omniscripts JSON. So let's see a basic demo now in our org. So I'll go to my org. So I've already created a Omniscript. So if you don't know how to create it, scroll, uh, go to the Omni Studio app, uh, search for Omniscript, click new, and you have to provide the type and the subtype and the language. So 
so now uh, if uh, the basics are like within the omni script you have steps so uh, you have step number one step number two and uh, so this this is the first step which i created this is the create account within that i if you go to the bu uh, built one you can see all the available uh, components here right now search for custom lwc so you see this this is the custom lwc so you will have to uh, uh, drag and drop this from the uh, from here to the step so once you drag and drop this from uh, to the step uh, you you will have an option to select uh, to choose your custom lwc so my custom lwc name is omniscript custom lwc i'll go to the vs code and i'll show you so and then i want to do a data raptor post action data raptor post is used to save the data uh, in salesforce so i once we do the demo i'll show you and then uh, this is our next step this shows that account has been created successfully with this id so let let me go to preview and let's do a demo so the account name let's give it 21st october account and click on save and boom so it's saying that account has been created with this id if i go to the data json i can see that account name has been appended uh, in the omni this is the this is called as called as the omni scripts json so uh, all the all your attributes which you append will be added to this omni script uh, json so you can see that the account name has been added here and since we know for creation of account only the name is mandatory so with the name we can create an account and we, then we uh, gave the name to the data raptors uh, post action and it returned us this id back so if i search for account and i search for all accounts and boom i can see this account created just now so this has been created just now so so this is how you can use your custom lwc uh, and interact with the omni script so let me go to the vs code and show you the code so uh, let me first show you the meta file in the meta file i have added the runtime namespace as omni studio i have made the is exposed as true so now let me show you the html so this is a simple lightning spinner then this is a lightning input field uh, with the name as account name then we have the lightning button on click of button it will go it should go to the next step so let me go to the js file so uh, this is the js file and uh, within the J uh, within the js file we have this function save button which is called when you click on the save button so this function what it does is it appends your custom data to the omni scripts uh, json so this is helpful let's say that uh, your next action is a data raptor post then um, you want uh, your some input from the lwc to be used in the data raptor so you will append that to the omni update and then from there you will uh, reference it in your next action then after this is done i want it to move to the next step so this is a, this is the way you can move to the next step also um, uh, how you can communicate uh, from your omni script how you can send attributes from your omni script to the lwc so uh, you have to first name one attribute let's say for account creation i i have created a public property here and uh, uh, i have extend imported the adderate api decorator so uh, so if i go uh, go to the preview and i click on this action so you can see within the custom lightning web properties i can i have to uh, give that public property name and i can provide the value here so from the omni script you can uh, this is how you can uh, pro transfer your data from omni script to the custom lwc and uh, the, uh, when you do a omni next step so it calls this data raptor and if i go to send transformation from the lwc we are appending the uh, account name to the omni json so uh, this is how we will reference it um, because uh, the step name first is the step name step name is the create account then is the custom lwc name custom lwc name is create account and then our third attribute that is the account name since we are uh, adding the uh, an object and the object key is the account name so this is how you will reference it and then it uh, then it will go to the second step so 
uh, yeah, that this was a sh uh, basic tutorial for our uh, OmniScript custom LWC component uh, extending the OmniScript base mixing module. So hope you liked this video and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.